All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah, I definitely want all of my friends to obey the speed limit. Let's do ignore it. Ignore distractions, focus on driving. Uh, that includes other friends in the car. Just make sure that you get where you need to go safely. People should never be afraid to speak up about safety and driving. Um, I think that if they're your friend and you're honestly trying to help them, that they shouldn't be offended if you tell them, hey, you know, put your phone away or put a seatbelt on. I've seen some of my friends aggressively driving and speeding just to look cool. That is not the right thing to do and can cause accidents and cause deaths of people that you love dearly. You know, I don't like seeing my friends be crazy in the car, speed, do wheelies, anything like that, you know. It just makes me uncomfortable and part of driving is you want everyone in the car to be comfortable with you. Everyone buckled up? Yeah. I think it's really important for you to keep your seatbelt on because you might hit a sudden stop and you never know what might happen. You might get into a really bad car crash that can send you flying through the window. So if you have your seatbelt on, it really protects you. It's very important to keep your eyes on the road and not be distracted by other things. Did you put this in there for me? Uh, with my cell phone, I usually just put it in the back seat or I, I put it in the glove compartment because that's the safest way to make sure that I don't look at it. And whenever my friends uh, are driving, I just make sure that they are not on their cell phones and I either take the cell phone from them or I make them put it in the back seat or the glove compartment. Hey, you want to be in charge of music in the phone? Yeah, I yeah. I think it's really important to have your music all set before you start driving because it could potentially take your eyes off the road and cause an accident in that way it's much safer to start your music before you start driving. You know, sometimes I get behind the wheel and I might be a little tired, might have stayed up too late or something. You know, sometimes just taking a second, take a deep breath, make sure you're awake, drink water, whatever it is that gets you to wake up. Too many people are tired out there on the roads and they just can't make those split second decisions that could save their lives. I've seen a lot of my friends uh, speed and be reckless while we're driving. It's really good for you to keep your eyes on the road and really drive under the speed limit because you never know what might happen. They tell people when they get in the car, hey, I'm going to be driving, let's try to not be, let's try to make ruckus in the car, let's all just try to have a nice calm conversation and like, let's not try to mess around. If you see someone not wearing their seatbelt, don't be afraid, speak up, tell them to put it on. Most likely it'll be no big deal. Before you start driving, I want people to put their cell phones down out of sight so that it's not a distraction at all. If you want to stay safe and you honestly just want to not get hurt, then the best way to do that is to wear your seatbelt and not get distracted while driving and not be a distraction to others while driving. So if anyone gives, them a hard, gives you a hard time about that, then they're really not your friends.